future head in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I uh, <laughs> you know, from 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 like day day one right. character, day two commentator. Yeah, that's yeah. It. absolutely. I mean, it's quite a rise. I, I'm, I'm I'm playing ahead of the curve, right? Usually you wait to be a top placing player before compensating, but I just already assumed. Whoa, that, whoa, whoa! That yeah, never stopped a, me. <laughs> yeah, if you're a character, you know, you just skip the line. I think. <laughs> so, all right. So this was definitely a plant that was planted in NorCal. Mm. I, of course, being a Florida boy, parent plant. We might be fighting about this set. Uh, I mean, there's not really much to fight on it. The clear choice here is the roof for legit. <laughs> that may be the legit choice, but it may not be the right choice. Because Dyer is like actually an oxymoron. If you if you listen to what you just said, <laughs> but in any case, Dyer has been playing exceptionally clean tonight. We were already admiring his play against Pixel and the way he was able to adjust his neutral and especially make it so hard to land a killing blow on himself uh, after only one game of experience against Bowser Jr. I'm really interested to see how light or legit works with the Diddy Kong. I have not seen a lot of Ultimate Diddy Kong. Dyer, of course, uh, Smash 4 Diddy Kong extraordinary, as was legit. Mm -hmm. But Dyer moving on to greener pastures, or in this case, purple. <laughs> yeah, my understanding is that, like, legit, I think, was sort of like mini character crisising, but I, I think he's, at least for the time being, uh, you know, decided to stick with Diddy. Now, Tove, as an Inkling main, what do you think the best options are for uh, for Inkling in this matchup? For a matchup like this? I mean, so basically what you have as Inkling over a character like Diddy is range with your back air, right? So, like, I'm using a lot of, like, attack cancel back airs and just kind of, like, you know, you have range. You have a disjointed move, and uh, you're going you're, you're, you're going to try to combo that into grab, typically. Uh, so, yeah, I would say just, like, playing, playing the poking game. It's almost as if Inkling is playing the game that Diddy played in Smash 4. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly the way I think of it, which is why it makes sense that Dyer and some other Diddies were initially looking to Inkling to fill that banana shape hole in their heart. We're going to find that first F smash, and legit really only taking 8% in that whole process of fishing for that kill. Mm -hmm. Something to keep an eye on, and that's actually one of the changes to Diddy Kong in the new game, is that the banana does not send you in a certain direction. It makes you stand straight up, and he's able to get that forward smash so much easier than it was in Smash 4. Yeah, I feel like Diddy kind of needs, at least needs something, you know, given that, like, you know, the down tilt confirms and stuff are, are, are kind of just gone. Ooh, that was like a kind of a missed opportunity for Dyer. I feel like when you get that air dodge on a platform as Inkling, that's like when you get that, like, that glint in your eye where it's like, okay, now it's time to get my, my big punish. Yeah, and it seems like Dyer has just been all over the tech rage when we've seen him on stream with those rapid jabs. Yeah. That's a free, what, 22, 25% off of that? Yeah, it depends how long you can keep the rapid jab going. And it's a good option, too, if they're going to tech, because if they tech in place, you get the rapid jab and the ink combo. Uh, if they miss the tech, you can jab, jab, forward smash, or rapid jab. I mean, he's going, been going for rapid jab a lot. I usually go for forward smash. I wonder if that's better for, for damage. I haven't done the math. It could also just be much less committal as well, right? In case things don't quite go as planned. Right, 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 right. So the up tilt to up air there. The legit doing a really good job of bringing this back, but there's mm -hmm. that back air we were talking about. Also want to say, like, I feel like uh, Dire, like, I'm, I'm really impressed by how much... How do I say? Restraint, I guess he has with the roller. Like, a lot of Inklings are pretty much ready to, like, fish for the kill around here with the roller, but he's just playing solid neutral. Yeah, I respect that. Actually, come to think of it, we didn't see a single roller from Dyer no, in his previous no. set on screen. No, I believe he might have got a, a couple of sets back earlier rounds in bracket, but no, against Pixel, we didn't really didn't see it at all. Mm. And that's really good because you see, I mean, you said it best over the how sometimes Inklings become reliant on what is a great tool. Yeah. But if you, if you just become too heavily reliant, especially against a player like Legit, they are going to punish it extremely hard. Yeah, they sniff you out. You, it's like basically like your trump card, right? You don't want to like play it before you have to. I mean, it depends on the style of player you are. You see it with characters like that have like, for example, charge moves. Like I always look for, there's like two types of Samus's. The ones that like always shoot the charge shot and the ones that hold on to it forever. And in my opinion, the latter is kind of scarier. Yeah, because it, it, it takes up working memory space just being afraid of that <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah. It's just like, he hasn't side beat yet, so right. he's going to roll her. Definitely going to roll her now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just getting the kills with, you know, I mean, yeah, obviously back there with that person's going to do it. Ah, still these guys keeping so closely even against each other. Yeah, right? It kind of makes me wish we, we ever got the chance to see them fight each other in Smash 4, but that's the beauty about Ultimate is we're seeing so many matchups for the very first time. Mm -hmm. It's super exciting because you see so many different styles of play for the first time really interacting head on. And especially in these game ones, you really see the chess match. Yeah. Well, that was really good with punish. Yeah. That was like the perfect dash dance basic. And these back airs are so perfectly placed. Dyer's actually Ooh. two with some of them. That, I'm kind of shocked I didn't kill it. That's so difficult for Legit 2 because <laughs> you're literally giving an ex Diddy main a banana. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that's there it, it is! That's There's it. the charge shot! <laughs> Dude, the Scoops. only one he did all game. Yeah. When you're one for one, you're 100%. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's what's the scariest.
And that's what makes it such a good option, too, is not only the strength of the punish, but it does mm -hmm. cover such a large horizontal spread yeah. as a move, especially if you know your opponent has to land in a very limited region or you know that a tech is coming up. Right. You can go ahead and cover so many potential options with that move and get a stock move. Yo, I don't want to look too far ahead, it's beautiful but our next match is Gluttony versus Rain. Yeah, I just saw that. Did you say Ooh. Gluttony? Gluttony. Is it it's, no, it's, it's, gluttony. it's Gluttony. Oh, like the like, like, the, like food, the bread. The bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gluttony. Wait, gluttony. Yeah, that's a bread? Well, it's like a, it's found in bread. It's found oh, in bread. Okay. Gluten. Yeah. gluten free. Oh, gluten. I see, Ob I see. Obviously, uh, Piranha Plant is going to be gluten intolerant, not capable of consuming it. Going to be just uh, just the. Uh, you tell just me he can eat the sun. spiky balls, but he can't eat gluten. <laughs> That's, well, I mean, you know, dogs can't eat chocolate. That's yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the real poison, man. It's gluten. But anyway, we got ourselves another game on Pokemon Stadium 2 legit, mm -hmm. believing that it was just those last moments that cost them and had nothing to do with the stage itself. Yeah. This is the, uh, you know, I, I, I can dig it. I love Stadium 2. Ooh. Oh, I thought maybe he would try to extend it further. Okay. Ooh. And I love how these have just uh, transitioned back and forth between these two pl two players in advantage. One player will get a, just a small opening. We saw the Nair there from Legit that time, breaking dire strength. Up smash, very late, not going to do it. But again, another banana in hand, trying to catch these out of shield options. But Dyer, being an next idiot himself, knows exactly what Legit can actually fish for. Here we go, the roller and a strong S smash to finish it off. I love the jump out of shield there from Legit. Doesn't try to punish it too quickly or too hard. Knows that there's going to be a huge amount of end lag at the end of this and just S smash them. Yeah. I mean, you can jump. And I'm kind of shocked Dyer didn't. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think if you're facing the wrong way, which I think Legit was, that's like probably the best thing to do. Pretty annoying to punish if you're not facing the right way. Okay. Lots of end lag on the end of that rapid jab, so once Legit got out of there, he knew he had a free punish there. I, I love how much more uh, Legit has used dash attack as he's gotten used to the ultimate version of Diddy. Uh, he's able to use it kind of like an anime fighter launcher, just popping the opponent up mm. and just landing a bunch of aerials right afterwards. Is that, uh, has Dash Tech changed much since uh, Smash 4? Oh yeah, like, in Smash 4 there was no follow-up to it. It was just like yeah. a bunch of loose hits and then nothing after. Yeah, and Got it's you. also sent out more of like an outward angle, whereas this one's just like, I'm gonna put you right above me. Right, right, right. Also, today I learned that Banana trips up uh, Inkling when they're when doing roll. they roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you never know. You'd think it would just kind of scoot it away, right? Yeah. Isn't that just like what those it. are? Back nope. there is gonna clean it up, but Dyer still has to make up 100%. Mm -hmm. No, we did see something similar to this in game one where he did actually have to rely on the back throw to get that super high percent kill. So Dyer not unfamiliar with this scenario, and we see these strings starting already, too. Closing the gap very quickly. Yeah, that was dope off the banana. That was, like you said, very, very Diddy Main esque. Once again, getting a hold of the banana, recognizing <laughs> how key that resource is. Yeah, they're, they're like, they're like <laughs> fighting for it. They're like yeah. fighting over it. Oh, the DI in that directly into the corner, and mm -hmm. I love that new map. Seeing how close people are, that is going to be enough. See him go over the rainbow there. Yeah, he started to tech in. He's got, he knows that he's been, Dyer's been looking for that, uh, you know, that jab on the tech. Okay. Or smash isn't going to do it, but get a lot of stage control. Of it. Edge guarding potential here, or at least a ledge trap, but no legit actually managing to make it out of that corner, and he doesn't get impatient either, right? He uses that moment to go ahead and juke out another option from Dyer before breaking out. It's interesting to see that Dyer really just relies on the splat bombs on stage too. This is somebody that knows how to exploit Diddy's recovery, and yet we really haven't seen him gone on safe at all. It's true, huh? I feel like Diddy hasn't been put in that many situations where he's needing like a be in a you know Super like an low. edge guardable yeah yeah place. And it might also just be like, you know, the Smash for Diddy mentality as well, right? When a Diddy knocks opponents off stage, a lot of times they look for banana, they look for ledge traps. It might be similar mentality that Dyer is operating in. In his mm. previous sets, though, we've seen him use the backer low on the ledge, though. That would be a really good option to still two-frame Diddy, though. Yes, no, and that is something that he did do a couple times. It looks like the timing is very precise, so uh, Dyer isn't trying to replicate it too often. Wow, the coverage there. <laughs> good God, that was good. That, that was several, like, interactions and conditioning to set up uh, legit wanting to wait at ledge because that's what worked every other time against the grenade. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was, yeah, he was looking for that, uh, <laughs> that jump in all the way to the platform. And now Dyer, despite being down 100% of the second slot, almost brought this all the way back. Only 30% right now. Mm -hmm. Getting himself more stage control wow. and getting control of that banana once again. Let's see what it is. We see Dyer with a lot of dash dancing into the jab right there, though. Staying composed, not being afraid to use the shield as a way to answer some of Legit's aerials. Especially the forward area, recognizing that it's still laggy like it was in the previous game. Banana in hand. 
I'll go for the throw. Oh, that I was spicy. I, I wonder if that was a misinput off of that. Because you, you, you saw how legit landed in front of him. This oh, oh, my the gosh. Mash. Yeah, that was fast. <laughs> mm. Banana ready to go. Mm -hmm. Going to get the back here, but the tech's ready to go on top of it. Dyer makes it back onto the stage. Really smart air dodge there to ledge. Getting that little bit of invincibility. Now he has stage control and a little bit of ink, too. Yeah. Oh, 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 my oh, God, oh, the boys. read. That was sick. In honor of Genesis 1, the roll read <laughs> round pre-Genesis, baby. Yeah. Up tilt, boys. The, the confidence. Like, he just knew that dash back, that rollback was going to happen and just marched forward and got the slapper cut. Absolutely. And now Dyer has to rethink a little bit because it seems like Legit really put the brakes on him. There wasn't as many tech chases, wasn't much time where he had an extended length and uh, advantage and really just kept these neutral interactions more and more and more and was winning more of them. And so it, it, it's really going to see how Game 3 plays out and where we're going. That's right. Honestly, though, I will say that you, I, you remember when like Dyer was down like 100% plus. Yep. And he really brought that back to oh, like, yes. you know, last hit. So that's, that's still also a good sign for him. Yeah, that's been a running theme of a lot of his sets tonight, where he'll go down in game two and then still drag it all the way back. Mm. And whether it goes to game two, or game three, or just finishes in game two, he really keeps his composure, which is something that he did struggle with a little bit in uh, four. So I'm really happy to see that, especially with uh, Genesis literally in nine-ish hours. Oh God. <laughs> it's really soon. Oh my god, I didn't even see the time. <laughs> But in any case, Dyer is still looking to keep that momentum rolling on legit. And that's, that is the important thing, again, is just the fact that even though he lost the previous game, the fact that he made it so close after that opening, that does put you in such a good mentality. Yeah. Banana at the ledge, not going to be able to anti-air there. Dyer making his way onto that center platform. Safe way to defuse pressure with a ledge jump. I like the cross up there. Legit tossing them in the wrong direction, but really both players just kind of resetting there. Mm -hmm. Walk away and grab. Oh, okay. I like the attempt by Legit. Dyer was one step ahead, but Legit remember that Dyer jumped over the banana previously, so he tried to catch it preemptively with that up smash. But uh, Dyer knew to mm. keep mixing it up. And that's actually probably if you're, especially if you're facing the wrong way, that's like the best punish for roller, I think, especially for Diddy. Just turn around and immediately up smash. Because if they jump or they do the normal cancel on the ground, you'll the get the punish. And that was. <laughs> Did he just kill the squid with his barrels? Yeah. <laughs> From like pretty much the middle of the stage too. Yeah. <laughs> like that, that was smooth flying. He had to dodge the platform and go straight down. That was nice. Yeah. 50% string now pretty much. Okay. Ooh. A couple times we've seen this now where Dyer starts to let these percents get away from a little bit. And this is where Inkling can kind of struggle. You're not in the up there up air percents anymore. You haven't been able to get the roller as many times as you want. And you're left just hoping for a back throw at super high percents. Banana ready to go, just stalking the bottom of that platform. That was such a sneaky banana. Just going to go ahead and poke that shield down so that trips up Inkling on top of it. Yeah, he just placed it, right? He didn't even, like, throw it downwards. Yeah, he, he, just, like, go. he tossed it up and it, like, bounced off the shield and then rested on the ground ah, right yeah, at yeah. Inkling's feet. He missed all of that, but that potential string right there where he went for the banana toss into Dare off stage, you can really tell that Legit's starting to feel himself. Mm -hmm. He's almost got himself at a two-stock lead. If Dyer's not careful right here, this back throw should do it, though. Yeah. Because looking at our winner's side right now, Legit's the last defending force for NorCal at the moment. Trevante not in the winner's side for this, unfortunately. So maybe Ooh. Legit's going to pick up the mantle. Yo, that punish off the, um, the air dodge. Sometimes I almost feel like if, if you know a punish like that is coming, if you air dodge, like you just take the up air. Oh, yeah. It's, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's the tax, right? Like if you dodge the tax, the IRS gets you and kills you. Yeah. So you just you accept <laughs> the tax and you move on with your you life. Paid. Yeah, that's right. All right. Yeah, he's looking for that. Let's try it back. Okay. Can we get him? Oh, oh we got an even way. game. Even game. Wow. Like you guys pointed it out in the previous game, Dyer isn't afraid of being at its stock deficit. He can still pull himself together within a single game. Mm hmm And he's already got himself a nice lead, camping under that center smash roll platform, just the place to be. I mean, it's impressive to think about. This is the first time he's lead, had a lead in about three and a half minutes. Like, yeah. like Dyer, or Dyer has just been at a deficit this entire time. And when he needs it most, now he's got 50%. So honestly, I think there's like, there's kind of two types of, well, I mean, you know, it's oversimplifying, but there's players that get more aggressive when they're down, and there's players that hang back more when they're down. I think Dyer has been a really good job kind of 
reading, you know, how Legit wants to play when he's down, and he's just letting Legit come to him. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of these just short hop aerials over and over, and Dyer is calmly dashing between all of them, just recognizing he can low profile, but he gets caught for trying to roller. Legit more than ready to deal with that option afterwards. The stocks has cost him. Dead even oh. percent. Dead he catches even the percent. Wow. Chill came up and everything, but... This is it. If Dyer can return back to the stage, he still has the ability to take this whole set, and he makes it back to center stage? This could... Wait for the air dodge, doesn't get the smash attack punish, legit drifting full out. Dyer not willing to drop advantage, but the up air is not going to do it. 132 to 123 right now, this is literally next hit wins. That, that is it. Is it. Mm. Legit doing NorCal proud, making his way to winner's finals. You know, every Genesis, pre-Genesis event, ever since Genesis 4, we always have one NorCal player just showing up for everybody back at home and, you know, dressing up at the hotel and it looks like it's fallen to legit.